Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. Right now, we are in the process of learning our vocabulary words that you will find in chapter 3 of this book right here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Like I said, we are in the process of learning our vocabulary words. Just give me one second, please. Excuse me. Today is our lesson number eight. <clears throat> the very first word we're going to learn today is con. Contour. It's a noun. Contour. And before I forget it, if you also need help in the math portion of the exam, we have already solved every single math problem from the book that I just showed you, the HESI Admission Assessment Guide here. If you need help with the math, all the math problems we have already solved from this book, they are all there from day number 1 through 50. They are there for you to avail yourself if you so choose to do. In addition to that, if you need extra help, more help, there are 80 more videos in the series of T's. And the math on the T's, as you know, is very comparable, very similar to what one, what one, what, what one encounters on HESI. Let's get one. Contour. What does contour mean? Contour is an outline. It's an It's an outline of a figure, of a figure, or a body, or a mass. The synonym of contour would be, synonyms would be, profile, or Silhouette, profile or a silhouette. So an outline of a body or a figure, whatever the outline might be, that's called the contour, the silhouette, the profile. Let's learn this word, shall we? Silhouette, let's learn it. Number 37. Sil, o, silhouette. But there's not really much to learn here. We, we just talked about it. That's what it is. It's an outline, profile, or a shape. An outline, profile, or a shape. An outline of something, a profile of something, a shape of something. An outline, profile, or shape of something is called a contour or a silhouette, which is, of course, also known. Of course, it would have to be noun because we said that this is noun, and since they are synonyms, if one is noun, the other would have to be noun. Let's keep on going. Number 38. Number 38. Number 38 is a strange kind of word, a word that I had never come across before, but it's in this book, and apparently it is used in the medical field, which is why it is in this book, and the word is... Doctors have to be so nerdy, so geeky, so annoying. Contraindicate, which means exactly what it says. Literally, it means to indicate something in the opposite way. To indicate something in the opposite way, because the, because the prefix here, the prefix here is contra, and then indicate, as in to show, to show something opposite. So that's the literal meaning. If you were to dissect it, that's what it means literally. How is it used? How is it used in the medical field? Contraindicate. Contra. Contra. Indicate. 
which is a verb, which means to advise, to advise against something. So don't do it. Don't do it. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. It's not a good idea. If your doctor tells you don't do it, it's not a good idea. If he advises you against doing something, well, that's a contraindication. That's the contraindication, that's the noun. Let's put it down. I should have started like this, but we have no room to finish it. I don't want to, and I don't want to hyphenate it. Contraindication is a noun. Contraindication is a noun. For example, you might say that he postponed his trip. He postponed his trip to, what would you want to send him? To China. He postponed his trip to China because his doctor him that he postponed his trip because his doctor told him that his his deteriorating health was a Contraindication for a long trip. And I hope and I hope and pray to God that this sentence actually makes sense. Because I will hear from somebody if this is a nonsense. If this sentence is not structured in a proper way, I'm sure somebody would tell me. He postponed his trip to China because his doctor told him that his deteriorating health was a contraindication for a long trip, was a contraindication, was the reason for him not to do it. It was not advisable. Contra contraindication, contraindication is a reason, is a reason why something should not be done. Contraindication is a reason why something should not be done. So his doctor told him that because his health was deteriorating, taking a long trip would be, that is a, because, because of his deteriorating, would, would be, uh, because his health is deteriorating, that's a contraindication that he shouldn't go on a long journey. He shouldn't go on a long journey. Let's move on to the next one. This is good. It gives me a chance to learn something new as well. The words, pronunciation, different meanings. Sometimes you know these words as they are used in the plain English language but they have certain nuances or different meanings in the medical field and that's what we are here for. The next word, I just want to learn this word here because of the spelling. Which is a verb. D T R E Deteriorate. 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 What does it mean to deteriorate? To deteriorate means to get worse, to worsen. To worsen. To worsen. Or if you like, to get worse. To, to become to 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 degenerate to get worse, to get lower in quality, to get, to get lower in quality or character or character or value. 
to get lower in character or value or quality means to deteriorate, to get worsen. Do you understand? Did you have a talk with him? Yes, I did have a talk with him. How did the talk go? Well, it started out fine, but soon it degenerated. It, de it degenerated. It deteriorated into a screaming match. Well, a screaming match is not a good idea. It's not, it's not going to get you anywhere. But that's what happened. We started out nicely, but within about 3-4 minutes in our talk, it, that this the discussion degenerated, deteriorated into a full-blown, into a full-fledged screaming match. That ain't a good idea, is it? I know.